big news. Pro Bowl rosters were listed. I don't, you, yeah, so it's the uh, the top three teams in the NFL draft order. Uh, didn't have any Pro Bowlers, and then the Green Bay Packers also didn't have any oh, Pro Bowlers. Oh, really? Yeah, what? A, bit, a bit surprised by that. What is that all about? Well, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I think Jordan Love probably should have been a Pro Bowl. I'd now, say. Now, granted, you look at some of the quarterbacks yeah. up there who made it, and I get it. I get it. But also, can we can we factor in that a couple of these teams probably going to go to the Super Bowl? Those guys are not going to play in the Pro Bowl. Sure. Get Jordan Love in there. I, I was shocked, though. I mean, anytime you're like, hey, the three shittiest teams in the NFL obviously didn't have any Pro Bowlers. And the Packers didn't have any Pro Bowlers. It's a, it's a bit of a head scratcher, but you know, hey, you've always said it. Pro Bowl doesn't mean anything. No, it does. not for legacy and Hall of Fames. It does that kind of stuff for sure. But it's but fun. it is. It's a popularity contest, and that's fine. That's mm-hmm. fine. We got a lot of young yep. guys who maybe aren't popular enough yet. There was a couple years where I was certainly upset, and I thought I should have been in there. But at the punter kicker position, there's only one, and there's a bunch of alternates, and there's a lot of really good guys. But you do have to kind of corral that angle. That uh, yeah, this doesn't matter anyways. Yeah, but then whenever they start judging people for Hall of Fame, how many Pro Bowls you go through? Like, yeah. yeah, and whenever like uh, yeah. commercials or mm-hmm. speeches incentive. or books or incentive or anything, it's like how many Pro Bowls did you make? So we can all say it doesn't matter anyways, which it doesn't, but it does in like certain facets that are very real. Mm-hmm. So I hope they continue to figure out how to make it perfect and make it right, but it's going to be difficult. Yeah. You know, it's going to be very tough no matter what. I used to say that the refs deserve to have a vote because they're on the field with every team. Mm-hmm. They're on the oh. field with every single player. They're there. I think more people that are kind of yeah. involved should have more, but these refs don't have a clue when somebody's reporting eligible. No, exactly. I don't know if they need sure. to be yeah. voting for... <laughs> I don't need to, they need to be voting for pro bowlers. There's a lot of snubs, though. One half of the hammer, Dad. Cowboys, Tone Diggs. You were riding your saddle on the internet last night about the snubs. A lot of people not happy about not making it in the Pro Bowl. Yeah, there's a like a handful that stand out. Uh, Josh Allen being one of them. Now, Lamar and Tua, they should be in the Pro Bowl 100%. The argument there last Josh night, Allen might win the MVP. Yeah, yeah. the argument mm-hmm. there last night was uh, Josh Allen over Patrick Mahomes because so Mahomes has 27 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. Allen has 27 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. That's passing. He has 42 total touchdowns. Jeez. 42 total. Josh Allen might win the MVP, especially when the Dolphins get a big-time win and end up stealing the AFC East or whatever the case is. But then they get in the playoff. If he ends up as the MVP oh. and he's not a pro bowler, that is kind of like, a, oh, the pro bowl's a sham. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. That is, uh, that's going to be a tough thing to kind of fight against. Uh, the, another big one on the internet last night was Antoine Winfield Jr. Uh, at the safety position for the NFC um, because he has three interceptions, five forced fumbles, four fumble recoveries, and five sacks. Buddha got in over him. We know Buddha. We, we love, love Buddha. Buddha. Yeah. Buddha's a tackling machine, but all those things that I just rattled off there. Buddha has zeros in that category, so a lot of people thought Antoine Winfield should have got in over him. Uh, two You're wideouts up. in the NFC. I'm on Ross St. Brown, the sun god, who basically runs that passing attack for oh, the yeah. Detroit He's Lions. been lifting since he's like six years old. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. I'm yeah. Not, but the NFC's tough as far as wide receivers. CD made it. A.J. Brown made it. Evans and Naku- Puka Nakua made it. It's tough, but uh, Ayuk was also left out. He's got a lot less targets than all those guys. And, you know, you, you would think, you know, everyone said – Brock Purdy can't be an MVP because his wideouts are so incredible, and and neither of his wideouts made the Pro Bowl. Huh. So he, he's I, not throwing to a single Pro Bowl. Right? Brandon Ayuk, mm. well, he's throwing a Kittle. Well, of course, the tight ends. But not as a wide receiver. receiver. Yes. Yeah. So Brandon Ayuk has over thirteen hundred yards, seven touchdowns, with the the by far the least amount of targets. Oh, so wow. those two at wideout, and then the last one was maybe a corner for AFC Legarius Need, who's, I mean, there's a Cincinnati Bengal wide receiver saying that he's the only good corner on that entire team and they're one of the best defenses yeah he was actually talking he was talking shit on an entire city pretty much yeah mm-hmm. and he was like but jerry sneeze dude, dude, he's dude. Yeah. <laughs> people were saying J- jalen ramsey got in and jalen missed a lot of time obviously jalen's unbelievable he missed a lot of time but yeah, yeah th- there was a few out there that people were talking about last night whenever you talk about popularity contests normally it's at a position where you don't know a lot of people so a name will ring true yeah. especially if they had a good year like for instance in the AFC, people are upset that Justin Tucker's the kicker because of how many great years the uh, kickers had in the AFC. There's a lot of guys that only have like one or two misses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Guys are knocking down kicks. There's a lot of people. Nick Folk, I think he's at 96.7% on a year or whatever over oh, there for the Titans. Man. He was obviously not good enough for the Patriots. Chad, well, well, the thing about Folk was he was going to make too many kicks. Yeah, that, and, we and that's not that. this year's mission. We, yeah, we couldn't. And that's yeah, why the only job exactly. I'm pissed about is Chad Ryan for the Patriots, <laughs> Barmore. 
Chad Ryland. I mean, you can make the argument no one has done more for their team than Chad Ryland. I agree. Okay, so he yeah. might be MVP. He's not in the kicker <laughs> conversation for the AFC. Uh, also, Dustin Hopkins yep. was 33 or 36 for the Cleveland Browns, only three misses. He's obviously had some massive ones. There's a couple other guys over there, but Justin Tucker has the second most points in the NFL. So normally the voting goes, how many points does a kicker have? Now, this is where I want to bring in our legend here, the people's coach, ladies and gentlemen, Chuck Pagan is with us. Hey, Chuck. Chuck, you ended the year on a very strong note uh, against the spread on Thursday Night Football. We appreciate that before the voting for kickers normally it's just points and if you look at right Brandon Aubrey who's perfect yep. on a year he's the NFC one has the most points in the uh, NFL right now and then Justin Tucker's number two right there so then I think Jake Elliott's number three or something like that mm. so that is normally what the voting goes for in the kicking category and Justin Tucker's like greatest of all time although a lot of other guys certainly deserved it when the coaches are voting how does that work is there normally like hey you take this group you take this group how does the coaches vote work for the Pro Bowl just get this big packet. You know how we give them to the offensive guys, the defensive guys in the in the room, and they go through, and then we <clears throat> we hand it over to the OC and the DC. Say so fill out these names, and it's who do you recall? Who comes yeah. to mind? Who's had the most exposure? Like you don't know every offensive tackle on every team. You don't guard. know the, you, you guard. You don't know these guys, right? Tackles you know probably better than the interior. To your point, but. You're just filling out kind of like who you know and trying to get through it as a coach. But I think it's one it's third right. of the vote. Right, I think the coaches. Yeah, players. but that, but that's real. They're just like, who is? Oh yeah, that guy's pretty good. Put oh no, down. remember? Oh yeah, there's two. Because yeah. you're, you're still trying to game plan and do whatever, and you bring it in as a head coach. Hey guys, fill these out for me, okay? I need them in like in the next whatever. And so you got them back like in ten minutes, like. And I said, you, we probably need to put a little bit more time. <laughs> yeah, but that is so. This is. But it's a pop. To your point, it's a popular. And how does like a guy like Franklin not get in? Yeah, yeah. Zyger. Zyger. Like he, come on. Back to ba back to back record breaking years for the Colts, let alone league leading in tackles. Yeah. yeah, has taken over for our team, and we're by the way because yeah. of our defense, in still it. very much mm -hmm. in this entire thing. We'll